Hi, and welcome to All Things Considered. Tonight, I'll be speaking on Seattle restaurant chain files for bankruptcy, says minimum wage increase a factor. Restaurants Unlimited, which runs several restaurants in the Seattle area, is filing for bankruptcy and they say the rise in minimum wage has played a role. Its restaurants can be found throughout the city. Restaurants like Henry's Tavern, the Palomino Restaurant and Bar, and Cutter's Crab House. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and according to their filing documents, they are blaming minimum wage hikes in states they have business locations. In an email, Restaurants Unlimited said, we fully intend to operate as usual throughout the restructuring process without meaningful impact on our day-to-day -day business. The company says that the wage hikes have significantly increased their labor costs and have had a series of impacts on the economics of the business. Uh, remember that uh, 15 an hour uh, increase that uh, Kashima Sawant asked uh, uh, for Seattle to get? Well, this is what's happening. The company says in some places where they have restaurants, minimum wage has gone up between 35 and 70 percent. Over the past three years, according to Restaurants Unlimited, initial filing, Seattle has gone from 9.47 to 16 an hour. The rise, along with two underperforming new restaurants, is partly why the company is filing for bankruptcy. A spokesperson for, represents, a spokesperson for Restaurants Unlimited says they have decided to sell its businesses because they say it's the best course for future growth. Despite filing bankruptcy, Restaurants Unlimited says it still generates 170 million in revenues. Well, I mean, 170 million a, a year seems like a lot, but when you've got massive overhead and you've got to buy food for your restaurant, you got to pay people to fix the food and deliver the food, and you've got uh, unless you own your own building you have property taxes that you got to pay on and you've got rent that you have to pay 170 million is not a lot of money that was a very short um, article which gives me time to expand uh, yeah, a few years back, uh, they said minimum wage has to go up. They lobbied for minimum wage to go up, lobbied for minimum wage to go up. Well, minimum wage, it's cool and everything, but minimum wage is not supposed to be a career. You're not supposed to start a minimum wage job and stay there until you retire. A minimum wage job was originally created for people getting out of high school going into college that wanted a little bit of uh, they wanted a little bit of um, work responsibility they wanted a little bit of uh, um, job history a little employment as you will but then they settled a lot of them settled they didn't go to college they didn't articulate to a college, they stayed where they were at, and they um, just stayed there until they retired, and the way prices of everything goes up, they can't afford to, uh, they can't afford to work for less than $15 an hour because bills are so high, especially in Seattle. Bills are extremely high there. Cost of living is through the roof. The rich folks love it because they can be the Fraser Crane seven days a week. But the Niles Cranes that are trying to keep up with their older brother is having a hard time. So what do you do? You keep raising the wage and the cost of living goes up along with it. 
or do you keep the wage the way it is and bring the cost of living down to a livable cost of living to a livable cost now I get it Seattle is full of a lot of rich fuckers now and Seattle likes being Tony and they like uh, having a hint of San Francisco in their blood they, they love that they're tired of being the regular town where everybody can live they want to be rich Seattle wants to be rich or at least the people that have moved to Seattle and screwed everything up all the transplants that came for a better job a bigger income almighty dollar the ability to house flip a house um, real estate all of that uh, investors foreign investors people that decided to go to Seattle and just fuck up everything I'm sorry to curse like that but it's just got to be because it's uh, a much needed vocabulary and uh, the city council doesn't seem to care the city council doesn't seem to want to do anything right they are in it just for the money and for how it makes them look they don't care anything about the people that come to the Seattle City Council and uh, meetings and, and talk to the people they don't give a shit about anybody if, if you tell the City Council please put your phones down and look at me I want to be noticed and I want you to acknowledge that I'm here oh we're sorry but your two minutes has already started you better get to talking uh, well can I start my two minutes over when you start paying attention to me oh we're not gonna pay attention to you you're lucky that we're allowing you to stand in front of us we're not lucky that you hired us you're lucky that we let you stand in front of us for two minutes anyway enough of that um, I, I did video after video where I said the minimum wage is going to screw everything up it was going to destroy everything but nobody listened so on that note this has been all things considered because I consider all things have a good night Seattle and all points beyond